Hi, welcome to this episode of Lightboard Lessons. Today we're going to talk about the Kubernetes ingress controller. Uh, and uh, there are many ingress controllers available for Kubernetes, but we're going to talk about Nginx today. And we're not going to talk just about the Nginx Kubernetes ingress controller, but we're actually going to talk about three versions of that. So strap in, let's go. Um, before we jump in uh, to the controller itself, let's just talk about how a, a, a web app in Kubernetes works. And so you have your Kubernetes cluster and you want to deploy, say, an app and you're going to have uh, two replicas of that running in, in pods. And so you have your two pods here running your app. Then you need to define an app service in order to be able to access those. And so let's say that uh, you've got your uh, pods here have been deployed. Um, and then you have your service um, on top of that. And then you need to have some way to, uh, to get from you know, your clients who are sitting out here. Uh, they are currently, they're very unhappy because they have no way to get into this. And so the ingress, the definition of that um, is to expose internal um, resources to external uh, clients or other applications. And so the ingress, uh, when you uh, create an ingress service, then you have uh, philosophically, theoretically, whatever you want to go with here, uh, a layer seven uh, load balancing service. Uh, you know, uh, we could call that a proxy. And so then your clients can come through this proxy um, and come in here to the app and get to the application server. So theoretically, high level, that's that's what. We're trying to build, and that's that's a that's a you know a typical web application on Kubernetes. So where uh, where we go with that to actually go into the practical is with um, Nginx Ingress Controller. There's actually two main flavors of that. There's one that is built by the Kubernetes uh, community, and then there's one that is built by Nginx. And so those are the the two main versions of that. And then within Nginx you have the open source version, and then you have the uh, Nginx Plus, uh, which comes with commercial support. And we'll get into some of those details here in a few minutes. But how this works is once you define your ingress, then you end up with, uh, and I'm just gonna redraw this real quick. Um, you have your app running in a node, and in another node, and then you have your application service, and then uh, you define your ingress controller, and so that, along with uh, the reverse proxy uh, Nginx, so you have uh, part of that Nginx pod, um, is you have your ingress controller there as well. And so as, as part of that now, you say, well, my ingress controller is not exposed to the outside world. And that's true, because our controller is actually inside the cluster. So what Kubernetes will do is you'll get uh, an L3, L4 load balancing uh, instance, and, and then that allows you in from your clients to come through this load balancing instance, uh, kind of like ELB in, in, in AWS, but you've got your, uh, your load balancing instance, and then you come into the ingress controller, um, and then Nginx uh, will send that in into your app. And so, you know, whether you're going with a uh, community uh, version or the Nginx version, you know, that, that kind of uh, layout uh, is, is the same. And so, you know, we have this cage match. Why, why would we go with uh, Nginx's version versus the community version? And, uh, you know, I'll say that the the, the very practical difference between the community and Nginx is, is that you get uh, HTTP load balancing with Nginx and, and that's not built into the community version. And, and so that's the, like the main practical difference. There's, there's all kinds of small, smaller features uh, as why you would go with one or the other. But I wanna, I wanna uh, give you two goals that Nginx 
has in, in developing the, the Ingress controller uh, within uh, you know, the company proper. And the first one is to enable the Kubernetes users uh, to deliver apps And this is securely, oh, I didn't spell that right. Securely, there we go. And reliably, and uh, with high performance. Okay, that's the first goal. The second goal is to be K8S native. And so making sure that it integrates well with the ecosystem using familiar configuration and processes. And so we achieve that through uh, development philosophy that says, you know, our top priority for the ingress controller is to deliver a long-term stability and consistency. Um, and then for continual production readiness, we provide the commercial support for every release of the ingress controller. So all the releases are built and maintained to be supportable production standard. And so whereas you may not go with the enterprise grade and, or have support, you use the open source software, you benefit from the fact that, that we're building it that way. And then an integrated code base. Uh, the Ingress controller uses a 100%, uh, so let me see, um, benefit from enterprise standard, even on OSS version, okay? And then the code base is 100% pure Nginx or Nginx plus instance. And so you get, um, you don't rely on any third party modules. Um, and there's no Lua code um, in, in there. Uh, so you're not relying on those third party modules. You're not re relying on the Lua code. And you know, you benefit there, um, one on the security perspective. So you benefit from the security perspective of it being uh, tested, and and also from the performance side. From you know the Lua code's a, a little bit slower than the native Nginx stuff, and so you know you get uh, performance and security here. And uh, of course, uh, performance here. And then finally, you know, we talked a little bit about security, um, but you know, at the end of the day, between community version and Nginx, we're the single authority for all components on our Ingress controller. So you know, those are the kind of the uh, when you when you weigh the differences between using community and using Nginx, I, I think that there's a strong um, there's a strong case uh, to go with the Nginx version. Okay. So one of the other things uh, that, that you can uh, do with the Nginx version is, is the uh, extended fun functionality. The, uh, the community version um, at the, uh, the Ingress controller uh, supports TLS termination and uh, path and host routing. Okay, and, and so what you can do with the, the Nginx version is, is you can extend that functionality um, uh, significantly. And the, and the way that uh, we do that is we do that through annotations. And, and so you can do things like, you know, uh, defined load balancing um, algorithms and uh, uh, persistence and, and all kinds of other things that aren't that just aren't built into the ingress spec, uh, but through annotations you can kind of uh, you know game the system. Uh, there's the good and the bad of that is you know the good is that you implement features missing, uh, but of course the bad is uh, you know your annotations can quickly grow bigger than the spec, and then you lack validation, so you're prone to error. So you know there's definitely functionality you can extend, uh, but you you need, you need to weigh the risk factors uh, of of doing so. And um, you know, and that's somewhere that uh, you know down the road we can give back uh, to enhancing that ingress spec. And, and certainly, there's uh, um, uh, 
momentum behind uh, that as well, is to, uh, to amend the spec going forward to make it more uh, feature rich uh, for um, everybody to uh, expand that playground. All right, so now that we've kind of covered the, the big uh, differences and the, uh, between the community version and Nginx and some of the benefits uh, from going with Nginx, uh, now we need to take a look at the um, enhanced functionality of Nginx Plus and why you would go with Plus versus uh, the OSS version. And so the additional capabilities you get with Nginx Plus are you get real-time metrics, um, additional LB methods uh, beyond just the, you know, the, the core uh, versions. Uh, you get session persistence. Um, uh, additional health checks. I'm just going to abbreviate that. Um, and then also a JSON with token, uh, you know, uh, validation. Okay, you also get dynamic reconfiguration, so it's uh, faster and, and non-disruptive. And then, uh, of course, uh, with Nginx Plus, you get support. So, uh, in a nutshell, that is Nginx Ingress Controller. And I will have a bunch of links down in the show notes so that you can go out and read up and see where you want to be. Do you want to be on the commercial um, uh, support version? Do you want to be on the OSS version? Do you want to use the community version? You know, all of them uh, uh, do what you need it to do in the base case. And then of course, uh, as the other cases expand, uh, you know, you need to pick and choose uh, what's, what's best for your environment. So thank you for joining me. If you like this show, click subscribe and we'll see you out there in the community.